to the most amazing trip, and he has some remarkable pictures to show you here shortly. Absolutely, but before we do that, see this container of ice? Yes, I okay, do. Okay, so you know how hot you are? Plunge your hand in there. Okay, ready? And keep it right there. Okay. All right, so what we were learning about is, uh, as we saw whales, and okay, we saw I'm the, done. no, no, come on, get in there. Don't be a sissy. I'm not that hot. Get in there. I'm serious. Get in there. If you want to show a kid, get in there. It's like a whale. How does a whale withstand ah. these incredible <laughs> cold temperatures? That's what they swim in? Well, well it's pretty darn cold that stuff. That is cold. You know, so, so the way they do it, of course, is they have blubber. And Ranger Steve came on our boat. So our 100 teachers actually were, uh, we had naturalists embedded with these teachers on a regular cruise line, but, but he came. On, he says, here's how you teach kids about blubber. He says, you get yourself some uh, some shortening. Now hold out your hand. I'm going to coat your hand. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. Here's what you do. You, <laughs> but you would. Uh, so now here's what you do. You take the uh, the shortening and you stick it in a Ziploc bag like this. Yeah. Okay. So you cram it in there and you put a bunch in there and then you take a second bag and you shoot this one inside of this one. So now you, you create this like blubber bag. So see what it looks like? Oh, sure but now enough. watch, I made you one. Now watch this. Oh. So I folded the ends over and so the inside, if you take a look at the inside here, Look at this. So the inside, you see you can't get your hands dirty, so it's just, you see how it's inside uh, there? I see. Now put your hand in there. That simulates the blubber around a whale. It's now that, plunge. Is it that dense? Yeah, now plunge. <gasps> See, you oh, can sit there and hold nothing. it forever. Oh, Isn't I that just see. absolutely it's amazing? It's a remarkable insulator. But, but here's what the ranger kind of pointed out. If we're going to take lessons back to kids who may not go to Alaska, they still need to understand some of the things that went along with that. You could stay there forever, couldn't yeah. you? Oh, absolutely. Here's what I thought fascinating, more information that we can do in our segment. But whale oil was from about 1700 to 1865, and the term barrel of oil actually came from whaling. Oh, they really whale, is a oil. and the supply and demand, as uh, as the supply or as the demand went up, supply went down. They were worried in the early 1800s, what's going to happen? A whales almost extinct uh, by 1865 mm -hmm. when finally wow. petroleum. But can I show you something else? Can I yes. show you some pictures? That's Look very at this. Cool. We have some video of what it looked like this off is of this remarkable. little catamaran. Look so how close. When we're oh. pretty darn close to the whales, and you see this normal behavior, this oh, uh, this boy. breaching and so forth. But the cool part that I want to show you is a thing called uh, bubble net feeding, and this oh, is where the whale geez. goes down, and they actually do a vocalization that scares the herring, and they go down, and then they create this wall of bubbles, and it's almost like a cylinder. And then all of a sudden, look at this: uh, five to eight whales will come up all at once. They open their mouths, they take in about fifteen hundred gallons of water, and then they squirt it through this baleen at the very, very front there and they get all the herring. Isn't that cool? That so works. the ranger says to us, oh, how are you going to get kids to remember that? And so he says, you can just tell them. And you know what baling is? They use baling up to the 1900s right, yes. before steel. Yes. So he says, you just do this. Watch this. I can't believe. But you, you use little sprinkles. So here's sprinkles. That's supposed to simulate herring. Herring. Okay. okay. So now, now you have kids. Now, take it in a, a big mouthful, and then you squirt it through your teeth, oh, and then see. what you're left with is the herring. So it right. looks something like this. This is how I ruined my shirt your today. Your shirt, right? which is covered with that stain. Whale takes in the herring, he filters out mm -hmm. the water, and you're left with. Uh, uh, <laughs> you can see Steve's experiments again by this going is to the TV. on air tab at 9news.com. Delicious sprinkles. In right? 11 years, you I've never no done pride. anything like that on we'll TV. We'll be right back, everybody. You want to try? It's <laughs> no. pretty good. I just sprinkle some water in here like this.